Gibbs High School senior Chris Velez is a big movie fan. He always pays careful attention to the special effects and set design. Those details led him to try to recreate buildings for a high school art project. It is what Bobby Lewis is on the road in St. Pete, where a graduating senior's project will help him pay for college. This is dirty, and it's dirty every day. <laughs> art rooms are supposed to be at least a little cluttered. We find order in chaos. <laughs> the chaos Look, of creation. So I, I wanted to create it, so this is the second piece I ever made. Gibbs High School senior Chris Velez knows all about reigning in chaos. I really like the little details in the sign here. And creating something truly eye-catching. This is part of the portfolio. This is the third or second piece in the whole thing. So um, this and its seven brothers and sisters won an award. His recent portfolio of eight unique pieces caught the attention of his art teacher and was entered for a prestigious national award. Never thinking, it win. It was interesting. Um, it was more shock than excitement. Um, I sort of didn't know what to think. Chris says he loves art, but I really was impressed by the math. 346,000 pieces of art were entered in the 2018 Scholastic Art Competition, and he was one of just eight kids to take first place. He jokes his new favorite number is 10,000, the amount of money awarded for a scholarship to all the winners. It's going to allow him the opportunity to go off to Kansas City in August to study art in college. I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words. It's really nice to be recognized for all the hard work that you put into your art. Chris is a very humble art student, I would say, that um, he does a really good job, but he doesn't flaunt it around. There's no need to brag when the art speaks for itself. These buildings, because I'm not very creative, um, are just you're like... Not, oh, come on, you're not creative? No. Nah. <laughs> um, on the road in St. Pete, like I'm Bobby are. Lewis, 10 News. Now Chris will be presented with his award at Carnegie Hall in New York City on June 7th. He plans to study graphic design in college. Good luck.